Hello students, welcome back to the 10th video of this playlist. In this video, we will be solving the last question. That is question number 10 of the recent past paper of Pure Mathematics 2, which is the May 2024 P2 paper. So let's get started with question number 10. So here, the question says the number of domes and the number of volts on an island are being monitored. Okay. Initially, there are 2000 domes on the island. A model predicts that the number of domes will increase by 3% each year. It will increase by 3% each year so that the numbers of domes on the island at the end of each year form a geometric sequence. Okay. So the the number of domes it in it, it will be increasing following a geometric pattern okay so part a is asking here to find according to the model the number of domes on the island six years after monitoring began give your answer to three significant figures okay so this is basically a geometric sequence and the question is asking to find the number of domes on the island after six years of monitoring began okay so you might get confused here like whether uh, we need to find out the sum sum of all the domains or or we have to consider the nth term so basically it is asking the number of domains it is not asking the total number of domains right so in that case we will consider the number of domains on the island on the sixth year only that is we will be finding the nth term of the sequence okay so for for that we need the first term so the first term is 2000 there given so the value for a it is given as 2000 for part a a is equals to 2000 and we need the r for geometric sequence we need the common ratio so common ratio here it is increasing by three percent so each time uh, the it the rate it will be for each year it is increasing at a rate of 1.03 times okay by that rate 1.03 by that times 1.03 times it is increasing since it is in percent three percent increase that means 103 percent okay so it is the common ratio is 1.03 okay now for this uh, on the island on the six year okay so the number of domains after six years it will be look the first term it is a this is on the first year right on the this is the initial this is a the second term is a r this is basically after one year this is after one year so this is after two years this is after one year this is after two years so that means after uh, for two years the power is two so after six years it will be a r to the power six okay so uh, number of domes okay number of domes after six years it is a that is 2000 times r to the power 6 1.03 to the power 6 okay so what would be the value uh, 2000 times 1.03 to the power 6 that would give you 2388.104593 okay so they they said to write it to three significant figures so up to three significant figures we can write two three nine zero that is up to three significant figures so that's the answer for part a of question number 10 fine okay next is part b okay in part b the question says the number of volts on the island is being monitored over the same period of time given that four years after monitoring began there were 3690 volts on the island 
Seven years after monitoring began, there were 3,470 volts on the island. Okay. The number of volts on the island at the end of each year is modeled as a geometric sequence. So, part B is asking here to find the equation of this model in the form n equals to a b to the power t, where n is the number of volts t years after monitoring began. A and A and B are constants. Give the value of A and the value of B to three to two significant figures. <coughs> okay, fine. So in this case, this is a geometric sequence. For geometric sequence, we need to have the value for A, that is the first term, and the value for R. None of these are known to us. So in that case, we need to figure the values, value for A and the value for R at first. So the initial, the first term, it is A. The second term, it is A, R. So the initial term, it is the initial number of volts and A, R. This, the second term, it, it is basically the number of volts after, at the end of the first year. This is after first year, at the end of the first year, A, R squared. This is basically that at the end of the second year. So that means after four years, you can see that, okay, before considering the four years, let's have a look on the power, a r squared. When the year is second, the power is two. When the year is one, the power is one. That means when the year is four, the power would be four. For part b, a r to the power four, it is given as uh, 3690, 3690, and AR to the power 7. After 7 years, it is 3470, 3470. Okay, now divide AR to the power 7 by AR to the power 4. So, you will get 3470 over 3690. Okay, so AA cancels out, so you will get R cube. R cube equals to uh, 3470 over 3690. That would give you uh, 347 over 369. Okay, so the value for R, it is basically cube root of 347 over 369. So that would give you a cube root of the answer. So this is basically 0 0.979717848848. Okay, so we got the value for R. Now get the value for A. So the value for A, let's put the value of R in any of the equation. Let's consider this one. Uh, if you make A the subject, then 3690 over R to the power 4. So this is cube root of 347 over 369 divided by, okay, to the power 4. Just, we have made A the subject, so 3690 over R to the power 4. Okay, so the value for R, it is saved in my calculator. So answer to the power 4 and then uh, 3690 divide the answer, that is R to the power 4. So that would give you a four thousand five point one eight one six eight three. Okay. Now we got the value for A, we got the value for R. Now we have to write the equation. So since the number of volts in the island it is following a geometric sequence, so definitely its equation would be in the form of A R to the power N minus one, right? Because uh, the nth term of a geometric sequence it is a r to the power n minus 1 but as we figured we, as we discussed as we analyzed the pattern we could see that the power is basically it is equal to the year right so that means after t years the number of volts it would it, it would follow the equation a r to the power t okay so the equation for this geometric sequence would be n equals to 
a r to the power t instead of n minus 1 okay so uh, let's put the value for a this should be up to two decimal place or two significant figures it said two significant figures okay so for two significant figures the value for a is 4000 and the value for r for two significant figures it is 0 0.98 to the power t this is exactly the equation for n the number of volts in the island after t years of the monitoring began that's it fine okay next is part c okay here the question says when t equals to capital t the number of domes on the island is equal to the number of volts on the island okay so part c is asking to find according to the models the value of t giving your answer to one decimal place okay so we have to consider at time t equals to capital t the value of n this n that is a b to the power t it is basically equal to the equation that we found in part a okay so in part a the equation okay we couldn't we didn't get any equation in part a so let's consider the equation for part a at first okay so for part for the first model the equation for the first model it would be uh, let's say the number of wait the number of domes it says okay it is also n let's say no problem consider the same variable so n equals to the first term is 2000 so 2000 and the value for r the common ratio we found in part a okay, this is 1.03 okay a times 1.03 to the power t so at t equals to capital t 2000 1.03 to the power capital t it is equals to 4000 times 0 0.98 to the power capital t okay now uh, take the terms with capital capital T on the same side. So you will get 1.03 to the power capital T over 0 0.98 to the power capital T. This is equals to take 2000 to the right side. So 4000 over 2000. This is basically only 2. Okay. Now 1.03 to the power T over use the concept of uh, exponential we can consider this as whole to the power t this is equals to 2 now we can use log let's take uh, ln log of natural ln on both side so ln 1.03 over 0 0.98 to the power t equals to ln 2 so use the power rule to make t the subject if you make t the subject then you will get t equals to ln 2 over take ln uh, it was 1.03 I think yeah 1.03 over 0 0.98 1.03 over 0 0.98 it will be in the denominator okay now just get the value for t using calculator so ln ln 2 divide ln 1.03 over 0 0.98 okay so it gives 13.2 uh, okay 13.92938411 so they are asking how many significant figures one decimal place okay so to one decimal place the value for t would be 13.9 it is up to one decimal place that's it that's the value for t and that's the end of question number 10 and also the end of the whole may 2024 p2 paper 
fine